I'm here at the Olive Garden in uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and this is Mike Temple uh, with uh, uh, Energy Shield Distribution in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And uh, Frank Orr is here at the uh, restaurant with me. Frank uh, purchased the uh, Attic Blanket Energy Shield AB product from us last year and uh, uh, surprised us by coming to this uh, program tonight and had some uh, very encouraging things that he shared about uh, his experience with the uh, Energy Shield AB attic blanket in his home. Frank, could you kind of share with with the people out there what what happened at your house and what you kind of did? Because you did something a little bit unusual with those thermometers. Could well, you the reason we, we came to the illustration that Mike put, put on and it made sense, you know. It uh, wasn't cheap, but over the years it pay, so mm -hmm. we put it in and I wasn't quite happy with it. I didn't know so I put thermostats in top and up below the blanket and above the blanket <laughs> and uh, so I could check it was handy right in my steps going out to the garage and, mm -hmm. and uh, it seemed like it maintained about 87.3 degrees below the blanket okay and above the blanket it would go from oh i just i don't know what the low would have been but it'd go up one hot time i see it 167 167 above, above the blanket above the blanket wow you know? and now we never kept track of our our bills <laughs> which we probably should have but <laughs> last month I thought God it's kind of high it was up about three hundred dollars yeah for the month we don't use the air all the time yeah I don't like air but <laughs> we use it and uh, well the one thing that I remember Frank um, is the day that I called you on the phone and I said uh, I said Frank would you would you be willing to go get your bills have you been watching your bills and you said no <laughs> I haven't been watching them I said well, would you mind checking on your, you know, getting your bills out and looking at them? And you said, no, I will. I don't want to do that. <laughs> and I said, okay, well, that's fine. And then you said, because, and you went on to say, you said, oh, I don't need to because, see, I installed these thermometers and I put one below the attic blanket and one above, and it's always a lot hotter above the attic blanket than it is below, so I know it's working. And so you're telling me that... Uh, it it's it tracks pretty much around 87 degrees below our attic blanket in the summertime. No, 78. Oh, 78 degrees. 78.3. Okay, 78.3 degrees time below the blanket. Below the blanket. But in the but up above our blanket, it's going it's going actually. Oh yeah. Up over yeah. 150 degrees at yeah. sometimes. Okay. Oh yeah. A lot okay. Over. Okay. Well, that's really interesting. Um, and so without you know without. Uh, I guess going into any more details, I mean, if someone was considering, you know, putting this in their home, do you think it's a good idea? Well, there's a lot worse ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I tell anybody how to spend their money. Right. But, but I think, you know, when I we seen it that night at uh, use it Perkins, I think when we seen it the first time, mm -hmm. we was invited by another friend. We went. Yeah. in our area yeah and uh, it just made sense so yeah, it does yeah it does make sense and I remember one t when we were sitting there at the table that <laughs> night at your house I remember telling your wife I said uh, I'll bet you that that um, that uh, sliding glass door there probably cost more than this attic blanket did and she thought about it for a second and she said it did yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the, the uh, sliding glass door doesn't save you any money really but the attic blanket if you put it in it's gonna it's gonna save you a lot of money and I'll bet you if you got your bills out and looked at them you're probably saving 35 40 percent just like everybody else well I appreciate you sharing this information with us Frank and I can tell and I think the people that are watching this can tell that you certainly aren't a, a gun who's for hire you know you, you're not going to tell anybody what to do but it obviously is working good for yeah, you guys and yeah. you've got the scientific proof in your house you are the first person I ever talked to who installed you know his own thermometers in his attic to track and see what the difference is and it, I think it's great I mean 78 degrees versus 150 up above and that the proof is in the pudding you know so folks you can make up your own mind, but you know when you meet someone like like Frank, who's done these experiments on his own in his own house, 
and he's gotten these kind of, of reductions below the attic blanket, it only stands to reason he, there's no way his air conditioner is going to be running as much as it was before when there's that kind of temperature difference and vice versa in the wintertime, well, there's I, just no way. I think maybe <coughs> we don't use the air as much and maybe that might be a lot of the reason it's more comfortable. We use ceiling fans a lot and we don't... Uh, have to use the air conditioning. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's pretty common for people to not turn on the air conditioning, just use the ceiling fan, uh, and and just keep the house closed up in the summertime. I think in the winter time though too, didn't you say that you guys had noticed a difference in the winter? I mean, or not? I don't. I don't recall. I don't. Okay. All right. Well, I it. I remember when I talked to you. I think it was in the spring, and and you had a you had a already had those thermometers up there and you caught me off guard but you know it's just a great story and I wanted to share it with everybody else and I do appreciate you doing that because I mean obviously I didn't pay you you know anything to do this right I no. mean you just do it on your own volition is it okay if I share this as, yeah. with this yeah. other, other people in case they want to you know consider purchasing the attic blanket okay well thanks a lot I appreciate it Frank. Thank you.